This is Chad with Tippy.com, and today I'm going to look at Pen Ultimate. And this is a great uh, note taking type of app, but you use your finger to just literally write down the notes. So here you can see there's the default uh, notebook that opens up. And this is a great uh, tool because it shows you exactly how to use it. So I'm going to go through this with you so you can see it, but then I'll ultimately make my, my own notebook. But you can see it says, hey, welcome here, tap here. You tap on the bottom here to go to the different pages, and it tells you what to do. So you can go back, tap back and forth, as you can here, kind of fun, right? Uh, you, can, you have your pen tool, you have an erase tool, and a clear tool. And as you go from page to page, it basically just gives you a tutorial. I'm going to tap on my notebooks and kind of go back. And I'm going to tap on this little guy here and choose to email notebook which if you want to so you can tap that it's going to create a PDF now what's interesting is that if it's a single page of the notebook you get a a drawing actually embedded and if it's if it's not as you can see here uh, you get an actual PDF that is not embedded kind of a bar um, but what we're going to do is, is up in the top left corner we have a new notebook button so we're going to tap new notebook and from here I am free to draw whatever I want. It's pretty nice. And uh, over here, if I tap and hold on the icon, I can change to different colors. So maybe I want a, a red color now. Oops, as I twist my iPad around. So now it's red. You know, tap and hold. Uh, green. And the color is actually below the pen icon as well, so lots of fun. I can also erase. And this will clear the page. You have a couple options. So up top here you have uh, the option to email the page. So let, let me actually show you that since I showed you the full page. I'll just draw some circles here and we'll go back tap email page. And You see you actually get it embedded in the email. Nice. Thumbs up. I like that. Uh, then what we have here is we have our settings and this does some basic stuff. It has wrist protection on and tools on top. So wrist protection means that basically it takes the, the bottom section of the screen. And I will go ahead and turn that on here. Oops. Turn that on. Uh, so, so it tries to guess if, if you have unintended types or not is basically all it does. Then down here we have tools on top. So it literally moves the pen tools up top instead of the bottom. Kind of nice. And then you have undo uh, and redo. And that's about it. Very simple. But this is great for, for taking notes, uh, I think. You know, if you needed to draw, you know, some sort of workflow or, you know, and say this was tippy and this is like the server. Uh, I don't know. It's like the number eight server. I don't know. Whatever, whatever you might have. Uh, you can certainly draw these out and then quickly email them, especially if you were taking... Uh, meeting notes or anything like that. It's very, very uh, convenient. I really like it. And when you go back here, uh, you can see that you have a couple different notebooks. Now what I'd like is I would like the ability to, to somehow differentiate between them because they all look the same. Now to be fair, you can tap the name down here and call it, you know, a name type in my, like let's say stuff and choose done. And you can give things a new name that way versus the, the welcome guide. And of course, if you don't like uh, what's there anymore, you don't need it, you can always delete the notebook uh, as well. I think it's a, a great app, Penultimate. It's a lot of fun. Uh, they've done some nice improvements as an example. Originally it didn't even do color, which is nice, but now it does. So very, very uh, convenient for them. I really like it. Um, so if you're looking for a, an app that will allow you to scribble out notes that look really good, I'd say Penultimate's a, a great tool, especially for brainstorming sessions uh, when you're doing meetings or anything like that. Again, this is Penultimate for the iPad.